Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. So in today's session, let's have a look on the table tag. So in order to create a table by using this HTML, we are having the table tag. So inside the table, we have to write the code so that a table with a required number of rows and columns will be generated on the screen. So in today's session, let us see the table tag. That means tags which are used to insert a table, right? So we know that a table consists of the number of rows and number of columns. So this we call as rows and this we call as columns, right? So for each and every row and column, we have to use a data, okay? So this is one data, this is another data, this is a one more data and like this all these are the data. So for this we are having a table tag. So we know that in HTML a tag means the text which is enclosed in between the less than and greater than symbol that we call it as a tag. So here we will use a table tag, starting tag and the ending tag. So tag ends with a backslash, right? In between this table tag, we have to insert the data. So in order to represent this data, we have to write the row and corresponding column. So for the row, there is a tag called TR. TR means table row. TR means table row, right? Inside the row, we have to write the columns, right? So, in inside this row, there is a column in which we are inserting the data. So, the column must be inserted by using TD tag. TD, that means a table data. A table data. So, inside that row, again use the TD, some data, Close the TD, that means the first column, first column. So this represents the first column. And if you want to insert the second column, again, use the second column in the same TR tag. So unless you write the backslash TR, this row will not be exited, right? So here, data two. So this is data one, data two, backslash TD. This is the second column. Coming to this again, if you write the TD, there will be a third column, data 3 slash TD. And now close the TR. This implies e, this row consists of three columns. Row consists of three columns. And if you write the same thing, if you want to insert the data in the next row, again, repeat the same process, TR, TD, Data 4, similarly, data 5, similarly, data 6, and close the tier. So this code represents two rows with three columns in each. And close the table tag. So this implies, so the output for this one is data 1, data 2, data 3, data 4, data 5, data 6. So the output of this code will be this one. Right? Now, Initially, there will be no border for this table. We will get a just without any border, the data will be displayed here. So no border will be inserted, right? See, no border. 
only the data will be represented in this format so if you want to insert the border if you want to get the border we have to write the border attribute in the table as we know that attribute means it gives some special additional information for the existing tag so here table is a tag in to insert the table and in order to get the border we have to add the attribute border and we have to mention the size of the border which we want to display so here so attribute in this tag attribute we are writing the attribute so table space border is equal to 2 the size is 2 so then we will get the border with the size 2 this one will be appeared this is about the table and then if you want to get the caption of for this table for every table there will be a caption so if you want to get the caption there is an another tag to add the caption that is caption so this tag should be included inside the table just above the tr we have to insert this caption caption sample table close the close the caption and now open the tr tag so if you write this caption inside the table this caption will be displayed at the center of the table above the table center alignment it will display here sample table right so it will display in this way and if you want to match two columns so if you want to match these two columns right these two columns that means just you want to match these two columns and just we want to write data 4 and here data 5 so in this way that means we are merging two columns each other so that we call it as a span call span c o l s p a n is equal to number of columns which we want to merge so here we are merging two columns so call span is equal to 2 we have to write a call span is equal to 2 so first row data 1 data 2 data 3 so there is no change coming to the next one tr data we had a 4 and here also in the second row also it must be merged so we can arrange the third one and here inside the first two write an attribute called span is equal to 2 data 4 data so obviously two cells will be merged two columns will be merged and the next one will be displayed on the third column hope you understood this one right so here the first row first column second column third column so the data is written like this coming to the second row we want to merge first two columns so first two table data will be merged that means that, that those two cells should be measured by using the attribute called span so data 5 is displayed on the third one okay so this one gives the output of this one now now if you want to match these two columns so here data 4 here data 5 so first row is as usual coming to the second row the first column is as usual so remove the table span here i mean column span data 4 coming to the second and third columns spanning should be done that means merging td call span is equal to 2 data 5 close the td this gives automatically the second and third columns will be swap i mean merge
Hope you understood this one. Similarly, if you want to merge two rows, we have to use a row span. So row span attributes also will match the number of rows. So if you give here two, the two rows will be merged. If you give here three, three, three rows will be merged. See, let us see that one. So we will have the same data file, data six. So similarly here also we can write the code. So it should not disturb that one. Data six. See, if you want to merge two rows, so that means these two columns. These two columns and insert data one. Then see first row, the first row in the first row, two columns, I mean two rows are, have been merged, right? Two rows have been merged. So here write TD row span is equal to two data one close the td tab right so the row has been spanned now remove the first one because in the second row also the row has been the first data has been merged so remove the first one so that we will get the same this is the output so row span 2 that means the first row i mean the first column of the first row and the second column of the first row will be merged. Right? So for that we are writing row span. So row span will match rows. Column span will match columns. Right? So if our table requires six rows, we have to write this, this code six times. And if you want to, I mean, if you, if our table consists of six columns, this TD must be, I mean, in between this TR tag, we have to write six table data. And first row, in the table first row, let it be, it's a header, right? We can replace this first row table data as TH. TH stands for table head. So that will be somewhat bold. The bold will be applied. So table head. TH is nothing but a table head. So this table head should be inserted in the first row itself. Because the first row data will be the heading. And from the second row, the actual data will be displayed. So first row, the table data must be replaced with table head. So you can also write the table data. But if you write this table head, the first row data will be having bold character right so hope you understood this is a table tax now let us see this table tax on the system by implementing this table hello friends so just now we have seen the table tag so for creation of a table now let us see the implementation so we know that all the tags should be enclosed in between the starting and ending HTML tag and inside the HTML tag we have to write all the content inside the body tag right now in order to insert the table we are having the table tag right so now let us see which table we want to create see let us see by using the row span let us create this table and by using the column span, let us create this table. Before that, let us see a few. So without any spanning, just we will see that. So first a TR for insertion of a row. For insertion of a data, we have to use in TD. And close in between the starting and adding tags. 
again tr so close this tr again just we can copy this one so we will uh, edit the data section a section b sorry section a let us take one more row so here we can write a section b and a section b so for all the branches we are writing section a and section b just to save that I am saving with the table dot html so close the table tag and we will see in the browser so table dot html so if you open this table dot html we can observe see three columns and three rows here there is no border so in order to apply the border we have to use a attribute border inside the table tag so border is equal to 2 it gives the border see right so if you increase the table size I mean border size the border will be increased if you put this 5 now let us see just refresh the this one so the border will be 5 right here we are we have uh, generated a table with three rows and two columns so three tr tags and inside the tr tag we are writing two table datas right see now if you want to keep the caption just above the table we can uh, use the caption tag inside the table tag so caption sample table right save this and open the browser refresh so that you can get the caption over there so the caption will always be center aligned to that particular table so here we are not mentioning any alignments in the text but if you use this caption tag automatically the text whatever displayed uh, in, inside the caption that will be aligned in the center from for the table right next now let us see an example for row span and column span first let us see for the row span so in this row how many rows are there without span so one two three four rows are there among those four rows two rows first two rows are merged and the second two rows are merged see here let us take the first row inside the first row inside the first td let us apply the row span is equal to how many rows two rows what what is the thing ug so write the ug next what is the second column it's a btec btec right so here we are having only two columns two columns this is one column this is second column next go to the second row go to the second row inside the second row the second row is merged with the first row so you need not write the first td so only the second td write that and inside the second td write btec oh, sorry so bcom already btec has been written bcom next the third row so here again the third and fourth are merged so in the third row just write the row span is equal to 2 and what is the data pg pg so what is the next one mtech what is the next data that is mtech next after completion of this row again the fourth row must be included 
and inside the fourth row the fourth first column i mean the four, fourth row we are merging two rows so next one m com right this one now okay. let us apply the caption row span so i have saved the data with the same file name now let us check here so you can observe here ug the first two columns have been merged and the, i mean first two rows has been merged and the corresponding columns are having btech and bcom and the third and fourth rows are been merged and the corresponding columns are mtech and mcom right hope you understood this one so row span every row will be having data right so here two rows and i mean four rows and two columns so in the four rows first two rows are merged so i am writing in the first row itself row span right and in the next one i am just writing the table data btech and then the next row second row the first column is not there because it is merged and the second one bcom right hope you understood this one next let us see the column span let us see the co column span so we will create according this one so here how many rows and how many columns two rows and four columns so two rows and four columns so we have to write only two rows here we have to write only two rows so we need not write all these things just we can say so this is one row and this is another row so let us change the caption column span call span so td the first in the first row the first one first column is ug so let us take column span is equal to 2 ug so first two columns has been merged and the next two rows i mean two columns the third column and fourth column is also merged so again write again write call span is equal to to pg right so hope you understood two rows and four columns among that in the first row itself we are having only two columns that means first and second columns are been merged and the third and fourth columns has been merged so i am writing column span 2 and a column span 2 in the second one in the second row we have to insert how many rows i mean how many columns four columns that means four tds right so inside the first one what is that btech inside the second one that means second column data that is bcom and the third one it is mtech related to the pg and the fourth one that is mcom that is the fourth one so let us save this one with the same file name and we will observe the change we can observe that first two columns has been merged in the first row and the third and fourth columns of the first row has been merged so here there is no alignment so it is automatically by default it will be the left alignment so if you specify here as a center align is also one attribute align is equal to center so apply the same for both so you can see the change so just i am applying the alignments so if you observe here the alignments will be done so ug and pg has been moved to the center alignment similarly caption goes to the column span right it's a simple thing so just remember the rows and columns tr represents the row td represents the column 
according to the requirement we have to apply the row span or column span right hope you understood this is a table tags so in the table tag we have seen the border attribute the caption tag tr tag td tag and inside the td tag we have seen the row spans column spans and the alignment attributes right so if you really understood my sessions like my sessions and if you are having any doubts regarding this html feel free to post your doubts in the comment section so that i will definitely try to clarify all your doubts and share my sessions with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel thanks for watching thank you very much